My son developed type 1 diabetes when uh, he was 11 months old. That was almost uh, 12 years ago. He's 13 now. And at that time, I thought that I had some skill sets that I could lend to the problem of improving uh, the therapies that people use to treat, uh, treat and manage type 1 diabetes. My academic background is uh, as an applied mathematician, applied uh, mechanics is uh, what I've studied in the past. That's what my PhD was in. I did no work in diabetes at all. And the way I was thinking about it was some kind of an automated device that could regulate blood glucose without all the labor and painstaking effort that goes into trying to figure out what insulin requirement, which your insulin requirements are every day, uh, day in and day out. So we did a good job taking care of my son using the tools that we had at the time, but I realized that um, you know, many more people could do as well or better than we could if they just simply had better tools. And that is, in my mind, that the essence of technology is. It is to take what is the best you can do with the current state of the art and, and, and extrapolate that out to every user such that everyone can achieve something as good as that or better with very little effort. And that's what I'm hoping uh, we can achieve with this technology. Well, my son was diagnosed, uh, as I said, he was 11 months old, and um, I felt that at that time that you know, I had a, a role to play in this potentially. And so I began to explore you know, what part of a device like a bionic pancreas could I actually uh, contribute to. And what, what made most sense to me was on the, um, the so-called smarts of the system or the control algorithm, which is really a mathematical formulation of um, determining how to make decision software and instruct a pump to deliver insulin on our command. Uh, my PhD student at the time was Firas El Khatib. Uh, he learned a lot just sort of watching me take care of David. He got, he just, he's, he got a lot of uh, in, in, intuition and sense of diabetes management and I think that was really helpful for both of us in thinking about what this device might look like and how it might need to work. So in observing how he treats his son, it was clear that he would always inquire about the blood sugar but also the history. So right off the bat, that made me appreciate that I can't just lift a textbook algorithm and hook it up. It won't be patient enough. It does offer many advantages where it's doing a lot of the thinking for you. Oh, this is my son here. <laughs> Hello. Hi, David. So, that, you know, I get five of these phone calls a day. I have four calls and a text every day. And um, I've been doing that since he was, uh, you know, in, in school. Since okay. he's, been a, he's been a school age kid since for, you, you know, seven years now. And uh, I receive these about five calls a day. And, um, and then he does, you know, he does, we talk about it and I ask him his input too. So he's organically sort of getting a sense of, you know, how to take care of his own blood sugar. My hope is that, you know, by the time he goes to college, he'll have one of these devices and he won't have to think about these things quite the way I do. So all these little, little thoughts that I have going through my mind, you know, I'm, I'm tr constantly trying to fine tune this. This device is doing that on a five minute basis. And in many ways it'll do better than I will. In some ways it won't because I can anticipate things it can't. But this is what you have to, it's sort of a balance. And I think that by and large, this is gonna do much better than what people are able to manage uh, on their own. This system, it's constantly watching you every five minutes and it owns the decisions. It's like a surveillance system. It's always watching and it's, it's uh, ever vigilant. Ed's approach to managing David's diabetes also impressed me because it seemed clear that here was somebody with the applied mathematical knowledge to uh, build and optimize algorithms, but also somebody who really understood at a first hand what diabetes meant, what, it, what uh, was required to control diabetes. I think that day-to-day, hour-to-hour knowledge of how blood glucose can change, how rapidly it can change, what things can affect it, have been pretty important. You know, if you think about it, this, this algorithm in its final form, and this device in its final form, will be Ed's surrogate uh, it, for his son, but one that everybody could use. It'll be in loco parentis. It'll be a father's love distilled down into uh, a, a formula.